Hi guys, Bumpy for Spurred On, outside the lane. We've just drawn one all with West Brom. The Tannoy system is playing uplifting pop music, I think in an attempt to save us all from the depressing Monday night trip home after what was undoubtedly a must win game. We've just uh, interviewed a lot of fans, check out our fan camps. Um, to be honest, I was surprised. There was a lot of positivity in there and I feel positive as well. Obviously, obviously it's so deflating. We had that game in the bag. We hit through the post three or four times. Mile made a couple of great saves and we should have put them to bed in the first half. We should have done, but the overall picture of where this club is at, even compared to just nine, 10 months ago when this season started, is not gonna allow me to get all negative because we didn't beat West Brom at home. To me, this weekend, it's just kind of almost the perfect microcosm of the season. Uh, Leicester, they've had luck. They had Ashley Williams pass the ball straight to uh, Riyad Mahrez to score the first goal in a game where for the first 10 minutes against Swansea, Leicester didn't look like they had much, if you ask me. It's my opinion. They didn't look like they had much. Then Williams passes the ball to Mahrez. They score one. Relaxation all over the pitch. They turn them over easy. Same weekend, we've got a Tony Pulis team at home. West Bromwich Albion. Is Tony Pulis' team going to work at 70% like Swansea did yesterday? No way. They didn't have a great first half, but they dug in there. Their keeper made some good saves. Second half, Pulis got right at them at halftime. You know he did. They pressed us high. They made us worry. They made us nervous. And they scored from a set piece. It's a Tony Pulis side. We played well enough to win that game three or four. I saw uh, social media at halftime. Everybody was tweeting, this is going to be an easy Spurs win. But in football, all the time, if you don't get that second goal, you are liable to get hit. And let's face it, second half, West Brom... They won pretty much every second ball. They made themselves some chances. They got their goal. Fair play to them. I'm not going to be all negative about Spurs. Like I said, should have won that game, could have won that game, but we didn't. Overall, this season, absolutely magnificent. I refuse to walk away from here thinking anything differently. We're second in the league with three games to go. We're five points ahead of Woolwich. We're ahead of Man City. We're ahead of Chelsea. We're ahead of Liverpool. I know what some of you are going to say. You say, well, how can you finish ahead of those teams and not win the league? This is your chance. You'll never get another chance again. Well, firstly, I don't believe we'll never get a chance again. We are building a legacy here. This is the basis. This is the base. This is the start of the pyramid. Pochettino is working towards something big. We are way ahead of schedule. One of the guys I interviewed said that. I couldn't agree more. In two, three seasons time, we're gonna have the biggest stadium in London. The corporate money will come rolling in. The wages will go up higher. We will be able to buy better players. And those players, if Pochettino's still here, which I think he will be, because like I said, I think he can build a legacy, those players he buys will be just as hungry and driven as the players he's got now. Because if they're not, he bombs them out. We saw that last summer, the Deadwood, gone. This season, every single one of those boys out there made us proud. The atmosphere in there, all day, all night, sorry, rocking. Every single player being screamed at, shouted at, supported. The massive change in this club at the moment on the pitch has been that those players now who play for Tottenham Hotspur know that if they run five or ten yards to make a tackle, we will scream for them. We will get behind them. We love it now. We're a grafting club now. None of this kind of slightly airy, fairy, old, oh, you know, we'll have a superstar. If he can do a little bit, he can score the odd goal here, but he doesn't have to work hard. That's over. There are workhorses out there. This game doesn't change that. There were some fantastic moments where Danny Rose worked back to win the ball and he was just, his name was sung. Christian Eriksen the same, all of them. So I refuse to be negative. It's an honor to be a Spurs fan at the moment. We may not win the league this season. I think it's gone, I do. I think Leicester, fair play to them. Absolutely amazing season. Just before two games go, they won five on the spin in the business end of the season where everyone is telling them that they're not going to do it. They're going to slip up. They deserve it. They've got two of the best players in the league and Mares, Vardy, well, and Kante as well, three of the best players in the league. They deserve it. I'm sorry they do, but I refuse to hear people say, oh, just because Leicester have won it, we should have won it. It's not as simple as that. There have been two magnificent teams, and when I say teams, I mean people who work for each other, people where... Um, the overall is bigger than the sum of their parts, and that has been Leicester City and Tottenham Hotspur this season, the best two teams in the league. We play slightly better football, I think, prettier football, but has it been as effective as theirs? No, it hasn't. So if they go and get the, the point or two that they need to win it from here, fair play to them. You've deserved it. But Tottenham Hotspur, like I said, what a time to be a Spurs fan at the moment. Everything is looking up. We'll buy a few players in the summer. Pochettino will get it working. We've come second in the league, so lots more money for us. Champions League football. I mean, like I said, we haven't finished second yet, but if we do, it's looking that way. 
Champions League football to come at the lane. Let's not forget a few seasons ago when we had Inter Milan down here, we had Real Madrid down here, the atmosphere. There'll be more of that next season. Come on, guys, get pumped up, get positive. It's been incredible. And like I said, final words, well played, Leicester. You've deserved it. We'll be back, though. Spurs will be back. We'll be on it again next season. Those boys will want to put it right. And I can't wait to see it. Also, next game, Chelsea away. They will want to bounce back from this here. Chelsea... I'd worry if I were you. I think it'll be a good one. Anyway, guys, let, you know, let me know what you thought of my match review in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And you can follow us on Twitter, at TV, and keep behind the boys. Come on, you Spurs.